there's some doctors who say that. I really think it's more from eating too many grains and carbohydrates yes. and sugar. So mm -hmm. that's just my Processed. that's my professional opinion on it. Mm -hmm. um, if I were you and you really want to get rid of sinus infections, I'd go no grains whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, that's but that's just a you know try it. I'll tell you what, when, and, and this is, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about my marketing hat. I'm not a man of science. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. Uh, the initials I have after my name was because I went to music school, so I can wave a stick at a bunch of tuxedos. But, but I have a doctor in music, but I can't tell you, you know, what to do when it hurts when you do that, like, like Dr. Josh can. But, you know, when, when we were first aligning ourselves with Jordan and preparing for the launch of this company uh, literally just eight months ago, uh, we were able to pre-order uh, these foods, and I pr we pre-ordered all that we possibly could. We were limited to, you know, X amount, but X amount was like, <clears throat> was that much. So we were, we purposed to lose a few pounds before we began, to, before we were going to get these remarkable foods and eat full fat cheese. <laughs> Josh didn't talk much about the, the, the healthy fats, but they're so critical for our ability to, to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. And, you know, this low-fat craze, here's, here's an interesting thing. When you examine the, the trend line, the rise in obesity and just overweight in this country, it literally parallels the emphasis and the millions of dollars spent by our government to promote low fat or no fat. Mm -hmm. Folks, something's not working. It's, you know, it's like, it's we not working. Eat, we haven't so, eaten low fat in So we a gave up years. low fat and we, so knowing we're going to be consuming lots of full fat dairy and cheese and beef and cheeseburgers, and cheeseburgers which we are we purpose to lose some weight. So I, I lost 16, 17 pounds. Kate lost almost the same. And our foods came. And I've been eating like a high school athlete for eight months. I mean, my jump shots are not nearly as good as Ben's are. You're sure, right. It's in the front row. But I cannot gain the weight. And it's because it's the proper balance of the proper foods and clean foods, whole food nutrition and nutrient-dense foods that are feeding my body. Folks, I'm 60 years old. I'm proud to say, and, I, and Lord, don't strike me down, but... I'm not on a prescription. I'm, I'm healthy as a horse. Blessings to my wife of 30 years that she has a purpose to keep us healthy. We've shopped at, at uh, health food stores and local farmers markets when we can. We actually belong to a, a raw dairy co-op for a few years where you have to pull the hat down around your eyes and deal in cash, you know, at night and pick up your raw cheese and dairy with, in, the, in the cooler and a bag of ice. But, but it, it has made a huge difference in not just our lives, but in many, many, many families' lives. And it's, it's, it's impacting when you can, you can impact someone's life and in the process uh, change and impact one's own. Okay, Amasi. we have two flavors of Amasi. Now, the lighter one.